Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to go over uh, what the housing market is doing here in Northeast Ohio in 2023. Uh, I'm recording this actually in March of 2023. I'm using the data for the past basically six years uh, from 2017 to 2022. So all of the complete data that we have, and I broke it down by school district. So I did this about a year or so ago. Uh, actually, maybe even a couple years ago, and that's why uh, there are some of the the school districts that I serve here, but I do serve basically most of Northeast Ohio. It's going to be all of Cuyahoga County and Medina County, most of uh, Lorain County, so the east part of that, the west side of Summit County, and then parts of Lake and Geauga and Wayne as well. But uh, basically... I broke this down with eight different school districts, so that way you could see how home prices have gone up on a year-over-year -year basis, and that looks, or I'm going to show you basically what that looks like on the estimated home value, as well as the uh, per percentage change year-over-year. -year. So starting here on the top left with Parma, you could see how I broke this down. I actually went into the MLS. I calculated the year to date, or I'm sorry, the yearly uh, total number of residential sales and then the total volume of residential sales. And I divided those out to figure out what the average price home sold for. Uh, then from there, I actually took the year over year data. So, for example, to find how much uh, home prices increased from 2018 from 2017. I took 130 minus the 120 divided by 120 times 100 um, to give us our percentage right there. So essentially what we're looking at here is uh, home prices have been steadily going up here in Parma. And the past three years in particular, the COVID years, I'll call them, uh, have been very steady. So up 12% or a little over 12% in 2020 from 2019 up nearly 12% from 2021 uh, to 2020, and then up just over 12% again from 2022 and 2021. So you have been seeing very steady growth there in Parma, and you can actually see the amount of sales too. Uh, we were pretty much at a very steady pace of about 1,700 transactions from 2017 to 2019, that bumped up a little in 2020 and then even more so in 2021. And then we actually saw a pretty big dip from 2021 to 2022. Um, and part of that is just going to be because of interest rates. A lot of people were disincentivized to sell because at that point they don't want to trade in their 3% mortgage rate for a 6% mortgage rate. Um, so there just were fewer houses listed for sale last year and fewer total sales as a result. So that's what we're looking at there in Parma. In Berea, that's been a little more of a seesaw action as far as the percentage year-over-year -year change. We go from 8% to 10.5%, almost 7% to almost 15 and then last year at 85 again. So um, essentially... With Berea, same thing. We're still seeing very strong growth. It's still outpacing inflation. Um, so that's a, a very good thing. Um, overall, a steadier and safer number would be lower as far as the percentage year-over-year -year changes. But as long as inflation still remains high, uh, housing likely is going to remain high as well. Just because housing is typically going to be one of your better bets against inflation. So it'll be a, a good hedge against inflation. For Brunswick, I'm not going to go over all of the statistics uh, with you, but essentially you're going to see a common theme throughout. Total number of sales is going to be down for basically every market that we're looking at. The average home price growth goes up in every market that we're looking at. And it's just going to vary by school district as far as how much it went up. So Brunswick went up nearly 14% last year, year over year. And now the average price home is $282,000. Lakewood is on fire. 
it went up 18.5% year over year, and the average price home in 2022 sold for $295,000. As far as Strongsville, this is actually one of the weaker markets here um, for how it performed in 2022. You could see same thing, big price, or I'm sorry, a big reduction in total number of sales. The prices still went up about $15,000. So if you're a homeowner, you're still happy as your equity uh, increased about $15,000 year over year. But just at that higher price point, you know, we're looking at $325,000 for the average price home compared to, you know, 200 uh, and up for the other four that we looked at so far. Uh, so Strongsville appreciated uh, just under 5% year over year. So still not bad but not nearly as, as high or as much as some of the other properties we looked at. Medina is a rare, uh, a rare school district that we actually had one negative year. Uh, 2019, the average price home actually sold for slightly less than 2018. Um, but since then, Medina has basically been on a tear as well, 12%. 10% and 9% year over year changes. The average price home now in Medina is priced around or sells around $328,000. That's for 2022. So slightly above Strongsville right there. And then down to our last two school districts that I'm covering today uh, Rocky River. Um, Rocky River is definitely more of an affluent area. You could see that in the average price home. Uh, selling for an average of three hundred and eighty-three thousand dollars in twenty twenty-two, uh, that's up seven point two percent year over year from the year prior. And then Westlake, same thing. Higher priced homes there. The average price home actually sold for four hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars in twenty twenty-two, and uh, that is actually up the second highest percentage out of all eight school districts that I looked at here. And that's up 15.88% over 2021, which still, you know, also had 13% year-over-year growth. So, as you can see, here in Northeast Ohio, we have not really seen a slowdown. Um, yes, some areas are not quite as robust as they were in 2021, or we're not seeing quite the same growth as 2021 or 2020, uh, or I'm sorry, 2020, but... Um, other areas did see even more. And that's why I always say real estate is hyper local. So don't uh, don't just take a national headline from the news and apply it to your local market because it could be very different. Um, I know that, you know, Phoenix, Arizona or parts of California, Boise, Idaho, they've already started to see price declines not price deceleration. We may be seeing some deceleration in 2023, um, but as far as actually seeing your home value going down, you could see it's just very rare uh, in these areas in Northeast Ohio, which is a pretty steady market. If you have any questions on the Northeast Ohio housing market, uh, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, or if you just have general real estate questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help. Otherwise, have a great day.